All right. What do we need to talk about? <laughs> I'm Josh Hughes, I'm president of Attitudes Entertainment Company and co-founder and lead game designer of Team Kaizen. I got into video games as a kindergartner when my mom was prescribed to give me video games to improve my hand-eye coordination. I told her by third grade that I was going to be a game designer when I grew up. Uh, in seventh grade, or in, actually in sixth grade, I was crying my eyes out to the infamous Aerith death scene in Final Fantasy VII. And aside from there on out, I wanted to write for video games. And then my brother and I started our own game company and we ended up meeting these amazing people that we work with and now we go to E3 every year and it's kind of our big like family get together for our studio where we get to hang out, see all the cool new stuff and network with people and get to have some, so many amazing experiences including going to the Sony press conference. Uh, the big things I'm hoping to see are stuff that make me nerdgasm. I'm uh, Ryan Barnhart, I work for Team Kaizen. I am one of their lead developers and their assistant writer. Uh, one of the biggest things that Team Kaizen does is we push educational games at the school system in Montana. And what we're looking forward to at this year's E3 is to be able to showcase what we have done with the school districts to Sony in hopes that we can spread this process across the United States. Uh, what I'm most looking forward to at this press conference is stuff about the PlayStation 4, see what Sony has in store for us in the future of game development and game design. Hey guys, this is Ben, Saltzman. I like doing a bunch of 3D models. I get some of the environment stuff happening. Working here with these guys over at Team Kaiser for quite a bit. I got interested in quite a young age. All the fun old systems, playing with family, friends, a lot of competition. And started taking some of the classes at school. Really enjoyed it. I met some of these guys down here at one of the other vlogs was uh, Mama Tamales. We're standing in line, we're talking about all the different ones we're doing in school, the different games we're trying to piece together. We started talking to Josh and Trevor, they had the big TV set up. We showed them a couple of our things, we got set up, a couple of emails, we started working with them. A lot of fun. And what I'm super excited about is seeing all the new games that are coming out, the big bright technology, and after seeing some of the stuff that Unreal 4 has in store, <laughs> this is going to be incredible. So many new things. And this is Ben signing off with incredible news. Back to you. My name is Marlissa Crawford. I'm a 3D modeler, animator, kind of jack of all trades. I help problem solve. I started actually building 3D dungeons for D&D and I love 3D modeling. So I went to school for that. I hooked up with Team Kaizen when I moved back to Montana. Cool. So I'm Holly Velo, and uh, I guess AKA Draco for the PSN users. And um, I'm a 3D modeler. I'm one of the lead uh, environmental artists on Team Kaizen. And yeah, I am super stoked to be at my first E3. Finally, I've tried to get in the last couple of years, but finally qualify. Um, I guess what I'm looking forward to most, other than obviously seeing all the people that I've known for years, is uh, finally seeing what the PS4 looks like, man. I'm totally stoked about that. But yeah. Hey, I'm Colin Martin. I'm the 3D artist and animator and the Los Angeles coordinator for Team Kaizen Games. Um, originally, uh, I wanted to get into games because I just love video games and I needed a career. So I went to school and uh, studied art and animation and 3D modeling. Um, about five years ago, I came to uh, the PlayStation blog meetup to hope to get into the PlayStation press conference and E3 and everything. Um, and I just met up with uh, Josh and Trevor, and we hit it off, and I joined the team. And it's been history ever since. Uh, I've been working with them, going to E3 every year, having a blast. This year, uh, I'm looking forward to um, all the new surprises that Sony has in store for the, the PlayStation 4. Um, I know they're going to blow it out of the park. I'm um, looking forward to, uh, you know, Assassin's Creed uh, Black Flag is going to be a killer game. Infamous Second Son is going to be uh, pretty killer. Um, I'm a big fan of that series. Um, I'm also really looking forward to uh, team bonding since we're kind of spread all over the country. Uh, team bonding is going to be really great. Um, we're going to go to our annual, um, you know, drinking party at, uh, down in Long Beach. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be a blast. All right, so I'm Trevor Hughes. I'm a co-founder and lead conceptualist for Team Kaizen Games. 
And uh, basically what I do is I come up with the ideas, you know, I'm kind of on the business side of things, a lot of uh, drawing and kind of getting an idea to where it can be sent off to an artist and they can take it from there. And uh, basically how we got started is in 2002 I got sick and found out I had kidney disease and my kidneys were basically shot and my brother realized I would never be able to work a real job. You know, I would always kind of have to be dealing with medical stuff and I got tired really easy and stuff. So. He said, you know, to our mom while I was in surgery one day that, you know, we got to take our lives back, man. We can't do normal and let's do crazy. So uh, we started a game studio and here we are at E3 2013, fifth year going. And uh, we are actually at the press conference for the PlayStation 4 reveal. Possibly the biggest thing I've ever got to be a part of. And it is just so cool. And it's the one thing, this E3, that I am just super excited for.
was crying. We were all like holding each other. It's been so long, and we finally get it. So exciting. Every year I've come to E3, and every year I've been. Square Enix is showing something. It's Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh god, it's not Kingdom Hearts 3. And this year it was finally Kingdom Hearts 3. I mean. So happy, finally! They nailed it. I mean, it is enough that you know it's a high-end console, but it's cheap enough that people can get it, and it's just amazing. And I love the fact that the form factor is not like the PlayStation 3's launch, like massive. We have personal gaming environments, and this will fit right in them, and it looks like it was cut by a katana. I love it. Knocked out of the park. I'm excited for Versus 13, now Final Fantasy 15. Yeah. Finally know what the deal with that is. It looks pretty fun. Uncharted Fantasy? Hell yes! Yeah. <laughs> So I take it, so everybody here is, uh, everyone's gonna get a PS4, right? Yes. Yeah! <laughs> Day one. Day one. Bars are reserved tomorrow morning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And just seeing so many indies up there and seeing that they brought indies out on the stage to show, showcase their games. I mean, what do they have up there? Six different indie studios? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can just see the Team Kaizen logo coming up in flames and us walking out. You know, I, I see that. And I am so excited for the year that we finally get to show what we're doing. Yeah. Like, that's an, even before Sony really started publicly doing that kind of stuff, when we first came to our first E3 in 2009, you saw that. You know, we're a tiny scrappy team out in the middle of Montana, we're going around handing our business cards out and they're treating us like colleagues and as equals. And it's so cool to see them take that mentality and put it out on stage for the world to see and for the world to see what we've seen privately for so many years. It just makes me love this brand all the more. You know, I'm all for all the consoles. All, yeah, I believe like Jack Trent said a few years ago, a rising tide races all ships. But this is why they're leaders. This is why we're proud to be licensed PlayStation developers. I am just beyond ecstatic and I can't wait to get my hands on it too. Yeah, like um, about half of our staff got uh, press passes to go to the Sony press conference uh, today, and that was amazing. Yeah. Right on, man. Like as we put it, we had a major nerd gas the whole time. Just yeah, this uh, <laughs> this new console cycle is going to be pretty interesting. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it a lot. Actually. Oh yeah. Going to start out with um, you're from Great Great Falls, yeah. so we're going to talk a little bit about that. How you first started? Now, now Team Kaizen. Kaizen. We're gonna get into Little Big Planet Club. I want to know how you thought of the concept of making Little Big Planet Club, and then how is it working within the community? Because I know you guys last year went from like less than ten students to like fifty-ish students, yeah. which is a ridiculous. Like my arms are waving because that's so great. Though, yeah. Have. So uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about that and how how that is progressing. Yeah. When I read your bio how, then this is just like Detroit, like there's an industry, and that industry says, we're done with this town, or whatever, yeah. and then everything just goes to pot for a really long time. 
yeah. and it's it's exciting to see people take that and go, let's let's still make something out of the ashes that are that are here. Yeah, exactly. Like to us, it's like we tell people that you know we started a company initially to take our lives back, and then it kind of became bigger than that. Like, well, let's give our city a future too. Mm. All right, Josh Hughes, J O S H H U G H E S. I'm president of Attitudes Entertainment Company and co-founder, and I'm also lead game designer of Team Kaizen, which is the first video game studio under Attitudes. All right, uh, Josh, thank you for being here. No problem. I'm glad that you took the time to, to sit down and talk with us. Let's start at the very beginning. Great Falls. Right. All right, so Great Falls, big industry at the moment. Tell me, tell me a little bit about the industry that was there before you got there. Well, before I got there, uh, we had the coal mining industry with the Anaconda Mining Company. And uh, three years before I was born, they basically shut down. And it was like a year or two before I was born, like the symbol that was their big thing was a 500 foot tall stack. And they actually blew that apart. And everyone kind of viewed that as like the end of the good old days, like the beginning of the end for our city. And people in my generation grew up hearing about the good old days and how everything is gone. And the only hope you have is to move out. And like for many different reasons, when we started our company, our attitude is, well, who has the right to tell us that the city doesn't have a future? Mm. And why can't video games be that future? Exactly, exactly. Let's talk about how, what Team Kaizen actually does. Like, give me, give me a, just a quick overview of what it actually does. Uh, well, first of all, at Team Kaizen, our, uh, like if you look at our company logo, we have uh, four kanji, which is Chinese characters. Mm. Uh, they spell out Tozai Yugo, which means a fusion of East and West, and the whole thing with Team Kaizen is we start off with this idea of we want to take what we love about both Japanese and Western game design and mix them together in our own unique spin on it. And as that started to grow, we started working on two separate projects. One is a martial arts fighting game that we're hoping to pitch to a publisher later this year. The other is a rhythm game where you blow up fireworks to the beat of music. And then and that's we, burst. That's burst. Okay. Yeah. And we also have a third project where we go into classrooms and teach kids game design through Sony's Little Big Planet. We basically simulate a mini game studio where they have to learn how to do the coding within Little Big Planet, the art, the planning, the teamwork, and develop mini games and levels that either teach history or STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. Awesome. I thank you so much for being here, my friend. No problem. Great thank you. To you. Let him shoot, he's holding to, it's a bedroom move, 
sun, an empty street, an open sea, and we're not close to dawn. Okay, well I'm Caitlin and I'm a 2D artist and a public schools relations assistant. The way that I got here is that I was actually doing something in high school. I was trying to make a, my own uh, testing game, like something to pitch to a company. And ever since then it kind of evolved and really enjoying what I'm doing, I'm doing because I really like seeing everything improve. Too high or too low or... <laughs> it's good. Uh, I'm James Sharmack, I'm the 3D art director. I think. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm the 3D art director. I've been wandering around for like the past two days and I've just been viewing everything and I already got to see the Assassin's Creed. That whole gameplay is amazing. Just seeing all the game stuff is like literally making my day better and just seeing everything, being able to talk to people, the experience is just magnificent. And like my favorite thing so far was probably seeing all the Konami setup because Konami is probably actually my favorite game company. I really like them. And seeing what they're doing with uh, Castlevania is really like exhilarating. It's really gorgeous and stuff. I like seeing all the new gameplay and stuff. It's just wonderful. All right, you're rolling? Yep. All right, uh, so far what I've been seeing is a lot of awesome games. Uh, I got to see a demonstration of Infamous Second Son and basically Fangirl screamed over that. I got to see Killzone Shadowfall demoed and that was pretty cool too. Got a t-shirt out of that. Uh, got to play The Last of Us, which I'll get to play the full game when we get home. And it just made the wait that much more painful. Uh, got to play a couple different PlayStation 4 games. I was kind of bummed at first to see the silhouette of the DualShock Leap because it's been around with us for like 15 years. But once you get the DualShock 4 in your hands, you don't really care that it's a different shape because it actually feels so good. And even the D-pad just plays like butter. Uh, we got to meet a lot of cool people. We've been just going from person to person to person. We even got our pictures taken with Andy House, the worldwide president of PlayStation, and that was a really big highlight. It's just been a blast. Stuck in a body bag And she won't come about I'm waiting on my life And I
Hey, Colin Martin from Team Kaizen here, last day of E3 2013. Uh, it's been a blast this year. Um, uh, I was just talking to Josh in the car about this today on the way over, but it show seems really well organized this year. Neither of us have waited even an hour in line for anything. Um, the, the, it just seems really well organized and uh, lines move quickly. A lot of stations to play, uh, lots of games. Um, some of my favorites include Infamous Second Son. Actually, didn't get to play that, but the demo was really, really cool. Uh, Killzone Shadowfall looks great too. I'm not a big fan of Killzone games, but this one, I think they stepped it up quite a bit, and it looks really, really good. I'm actually considering buying it on launch day. Uh, another favorite was Assassin's Creed Black Flag. The controls just seemed really, really smooth, and playing it on the PS4 controller was really nice. It's a, it's an amazing controller really great improvements to it. It's very responsive. Uh, it just works really, really well, and I'm excited to get my hands on it for real at home. Um, it's just been great these last five years working with Team Kaizen, going to E3 with them every year. They've been really great to me, and uh, you know, you, you work hard for them, and they reward you for it. Um, so it's, it's been an amazing experience for the past five years. I'm looking forward to the next five, 10, 15 years that we're together making games and uh, coming to E3 together. So we are here at E3 on the final day. We just got in and uh, we have seen hundreds if not thousands of different games to, you know, this week and it's just been amazing. PS4 has had one of the coolest launches I've ever seen. Xbox One, I'm really hoping that they turn it around and they can succeed, but it looks bad for them right now. I got to play uh, one of their games and it's a remake of an older series and they did, just quite didn't do the series justice. It looks a little off to me, but 
you know, everything I've seen so far, for the most part, has been amazing. There's been, you know, buckets of swag. I'm getting me a Disney hoodie, which I'm super excited about. Uh, I mean, this has got to be the most fun thing I can do every year. And a big part of that is the E3 and the swag, but I think the biggest part is getting to hang out with all of our staffers that, you know, we get to see once a year. And uh, a lot of our staffers join staff at our first E3, and it's kind of just a, a family reunion every year. And uh, it, it's so much fun. We get to hang out with so many people and get to meet so many interesting people that are out here. And every year we meet someone new, and every year we get to meet, you know, more and more exclusive people, like, you know, higher-ups at Sony or higher-ups at other companies. And uh, each year it seems like we get just a little bit more clout and we're, you know, we're working towards that end goal of being, you know, on one of these stages in one year. And I'm super excited about that. So uh, E3 2013, thank you. That's what I'm bummed about uh, the Wii getting Bayonetta 2 because that, the first one was an amazing, amazing action game. Ninja Theory did a fantastic job on it. And why they picked the Wii U is beyond me because it's a horrible system that is not selling. They didn't even have a press conference this year. Barely have any games over there for the Wii U. It's a majority of just focusing on the 3DS, which is a good system. But I'm hoping within the next you know year or two after they figure out that they're not going to make their money back on Bayonetta, that it'll be released on the Xbox or the PlayStation. And wow, that's a really nice color. My impression so far of E3 is I am blown away. This is my third year here, and for the first time, I just there's not enough hours in a day to try to get everything done. They have unveiled so much fantastic new technology and great games. Sony has definitely took the show by storm over Xbox. They Xbox may have some good exclusives, you know, with Killer Instinct and. Dead Rising 3, but their overall business practices are going to alienate a lot of the community. And then them yesterday with their little comment that for the U.S. government, that all military people can stick with an offline console called the 360, they pretty much alienated me from that. 
But why I joined Team Kaizen and has continued to stay with them for these past 10 years is because of their push for education. They work so hard with the kids in town and advocating game use and game development for kids and how it is so, so applicable in the classroom today. Kids cannot be taught the same way they were 10 years ago, let alone last year. So the more innovation that they can put into the classroom and myself as an educator, I enjoy it. And I've used several of their techniques that they've come up with to teach some of my classes for English and history. As for the future of Team Kaizen, I see us within probably the next four years here ourselves with a little indie booth. Hopefully next year we'll have our playable demo for Shattered Souls already. Uh, I've been working really hard on the script and getting as much of the story together as we possibly can because we want to make it as, as story driven as possible as much as a fighting game can be. And that's turned a lot of heads within the business and we've meet, met with a lot of different executives through Sony and uh, other designers that we've met on the, the show floor. So I see a very promising future for Team Kaizen. I will be here with them the whole time. All right, so this E3 is probably the best one I've been to out of the five I've been to. We got to network with so many amazing people, uh, got to meet a lot of even more amazing people, and it's just awesome for us as an indie studio because we're a small, scrappy studio, and when you're like that, you build such amazing relationships with people who are putting in their blood, sweat, and tears to achieve a common goal together. And then for us to come to like that and keeping in the back of our mind that we're still kind of a small studio, but to come here and go meet people at Sony, at Sony's booth, and them treating us like equals and you know telling us, yeah, we want to work with you, we want to help you, it's just been an information overload, and it's been so amazing, and it's... Uh, definitely a lot of moments where I've been very proud of my team to see them go around and present to people, hand out business cards, talk about our games, and realize. And for them it's becoming more real because it's usually, you know, we're talking across email over long distances saying, okay, we need this model done, we need that animation done, we need that bit of code done. But here's where they come and they see how real it is where they're in front of people talking about their team and you see a sense of such pride develop where they're like, holy crap, I'm a part of this, it's happening. and. It's, it recharges your batteries for a whole year. It's just worth it. It's the most amazing experience in the world, and this year has been the best one so far.